Hello everybody, Leo Artica here. Welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. Now, when we last left off, we managed to escape good old Mr. Gluskin, who wanted to turn us into his bride, and almost castrate us, but in the attempt, we now have a broken leg, he stole all my batteries, and we now have to find a key to escape. Right. Yeah, I've already got two batteries. I mean, I managed to find two extra batteries before I got to this point, but the bastard nicked all my batteries. At least I, I still think he nicked all my batteries. I at least remember having at least two or... Actually, no, I remember having one more. At least one more. And when I got my camera back, I had none. So, either he stole them or I lost them or, or he tried to use it and ran out of batteries. Okay, yeah, find the key to access the mail ward. Right. I gotta be on. Aha! I was gonna say, gotta be on the lookout for batteries. If you ask, you shall receive! I don't think it's possible to, to like, get 10 out of 10 batteries unless you don't don't use them somehow. But then again, how can you get through this game without using using the camera? Anyway, now that we've got away from Gluskin, can this door open? I cannot. Now that we got away from him, who's going to be the main enemy again? Or is he still is he still the enemy? Or is Mr. Cannibal Man going to come back? Or is Chris Walker going to come back? Oh, good lord, I'm hobbling my ass. Where am I meant to go? Where am I meant to go? Oh, can I, oh, I can jump over this, right? Yes, I can. My foot may be broken. Actually, no, it's not broken. It's just it got stabbed when I fell off the elevator. But I can still hobble my way to victory. I can't open these. Can I open them? No, I thought they were lockers. Where, where do I go from here? Uh, what? Where do I go? Wait, wait, does this open? No, it does not. Do I, oh, do I climb up there? Nope, I can't. Oh, I can't even jump anymore. Can I climb in there? Ah, here we go. Whoa, jeez. What a way to die. Is this place? Holy shit! Are those? Yeah, those are bodies. Those are definitely bodies. A new note. Bluebeard's wives. Bodies hanging like wet worn laundry, like skinned rabbits, men mutilated, hunted and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. And he's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood meet decomposing to, to game. Okay, so... This... This must be the ultimate fate... Of those who become Mr. Gluskin's wives! Oh, that's very nice. Oh, oh, I can't move. Oh, can I go? Jeez. Good fucking God. If we're still in his territory, something tells me that he's still around then. Oh no! Oh god, okay, he's still a threat. He is. He is so much different to, to Chris Walker and the Cannibal. At least with those two, they are... You know they're, they're fucking dangerous, but this guy, he sounds so nice and calm. But deep down, he's broken and evil, and... I, again, it's not his... I don't, it's not his fault, obviously, because the... The corporation messed up his mind, but still... Goddamn. So, if I'm here, the key must be in this area. So I've gotta look around. Not getting turned into one of his wives. I'm assuming he's in that room. Is there a battery here? Nope, 
Low battery. What the fuck, man? Plenty of places to hide, at least. Where are you, you sick freak? Definitely, I don't think he's in this room. Because, okay, he definitely can't come through there. Are there any batteries on this shelf? I don't like the fact that he stopped singing. But I'm assuming just like the buzz saw, his singing, and like Chris Walker's grunts, his singing is like, like to warn you that he's there. I'm su I suppose this room is just a place where we can just like give him the runaround if he chases us. where I came from. I don't like how quiet it is. I mean, I love how this game builds atmosphere, but still. I'm just looking for batteries or any documents or stuff that I might have missed. Because at this rate, I'm going to run out of batteries. Is he actually here? I'm like, is he actually going to appear? I mean, I know I heard him, but... Is he actually in this area? Can this door open? Yes, it can, but where does this lead? Oh, this is just another place I can hide, I suppose. Yeah, this is just another place I can hide. Why is there a ramp here? Oh, I can't climb. Can I climb up that? No, I can't. Oh, I can't open this. Why not? Understand. Do I have to go around? Wait, do I have to climb up that? Have to climb up here? No, I can't even. I can't even jump anymore. Broken leg means I can't jump. Okay, so why can't I open that door? One more battery left. Where am I meant to go? I'm assuming he's not here, since no music's playing. Well, that can that door? Wait, was this open before? I don't think it was. Maybe it's open now. I mean, I mean, it is open now, but maybe it was locked before? I don't know. The fuck? Oh, the music's kicked up. What the hell is this? What the hell? What is that? Oh! Is that the key? And is that... Is that the guy? I mean, that's him, yeah. OH SHIT! OH SHIT! I... Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! Oh! Push this out the way! Push this out the way! Push this out the way!
open up. Shut the door. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm trapped. Oh shit, I'm trapped. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh my god, you ground him. I got you ground him. Get out the way. Get out the way, you dick. Oh. I guess I took too long. I took too long. All right. All right, note to self. When you go through that door, don't go left. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Go, go. Ow! Oh, you dick. What the? Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay. So I can't just outrun him. All right. Just steps on my face. Okay, so I can't just outrun him. I think I have to lose him. Like, hide somewhere. I have to hide somewhere. Oh, god damn it! Oh, you fucker! Oh, damn it. Why did I do that? Shit! Well, why did I do that? I'm a fucking idiot. Fuck you! I don't think hiding behind that that, that um, table is, is a good idea. I gotta hide in one of the lockers, maybe. I gotta hide in one of the lockers. Shut the door! Shut the door! throwing a fit. I know I'm just safe scumming basically, but don't really want to die, that's all. Okay. I don't know if he's just standing there. back, I suppose. Here he comes. Alright, I gotta go back and hide. I can hear him walking. The only... What makes him worse than the Cannibal Man and the um, and Chris Walker is that he's so quiet. At least with the Cannibal Man and Chris Walker, you know roughly where they are because of all the noise they make. He hardly makes any noise, so you really have to listen out to his footsteps. And I shouldn't be talking. Climb, climb, climb! Oh, uh, screw you, you a-hole! I got the key now. All right, I should, I should, I should be safe. I should be safe. Oh, unless he's somehow in this room as well. Key, 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 key. Oh, wait, no, that's not, the, that's not the right door. Oh, the door's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the key! Yeah. No, oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! One more. I tried. 
and I try. Ooh. You all pray. Oh god. You can hang. Oh shit. Like the rest of them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No 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 put me down. Uh, what, what do I do? What do I do? I can't do nothing! Oh, shit! Oh! If this is you on the honeymoon, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, God. What do I do? What am I meant to do? I can't do anything! This is how I die. Oh! Oh, God! God damn it! What are you? Damn it, darling! Oh! Uh, shake, 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 Oh, what's going on? What's happened? Oh, could have been beautiful. Yo! What's happened? Oh, God! Piss in hell! All that for a note. What we got? A widower. He's dead. The amateur surgeon, father-to-be husband. His guts shredded, pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh God, Lisa. I swear to you, I'm trying. Okay. Alright, so, just like Chris Walker, he's no longer a threat? Thank God for that. Oh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh wait, he opened the door, right? Yeah, the door's open now. Alright, I got the key. Now I can escape, right? Yes. Shut this door just in case. Alright. Okay, moving on. What's that say? The male ward. Ah, we're here. The male ward. So, where, so where were we? We're in the female ward. It was rather bright in here. What the hell? Oh! That's the church! That's the church! That's the church that Father Martin w was in before he burnt, he burnt to death. Burning church. A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know you had a church. Where's God when you need him? So if that's the case, that means Mike Upshur is over there. Hey Mike, I'm over here! Come and help me! Oh God. If that's the case though, if we're coming pop up to the church scene, is that does that mean we're near the end? Or coming up to well, the end of the journey from Mike Upshur? What the hell is that? It's the doctor! He even took his damn pants. Tell you one thing. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. Not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Amen. Okay. So the guards are here now. Serve and protect. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever you call them now. They're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. Too right, buddy. They're not going to help us. I mean... Who's walking? Who's, oh, is, is that me doing... Is that me? It's me walking. Okay. Okay, so that's the, doc, that's the doctor. Yeah. Are they going to be a threat, though? I don't know what to do against guys with guns. <laughs> Found a document. What we got here? Beyond hope. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful aggress from Rudolf Wernick. From structural and financial systems at Mount Massive, his advanced age should alleviate any suspicion among contractors and employers, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died ages ago. 
I didn't. I didn't understand patience. Fourteen three zero six dash eight, fourteen two seventy nine dash one, and fourteen eight sixty eight what dash one have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My research have combed through Wernick's files, found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernick was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of, of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirm infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. And even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is, is, is significantly shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes of my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Garrett. So there's another facility? I guess that explains what Outlast 2 is about, which, by the way, I'm actually going to do at one point. Most likely when I finish this. It's been a long time in the making. Oh, loads of games are a long time in the making. Shut up, phone! I'm trying to play a game here. Right, I'll, like, see. like, seriously, are those guards going to be a problem? They don't even know I'm here. I'm being careful. I'm not running anywhere with those guys around. Because they killed, they ki in the last, in the last um, series, they killed Mike Upshur. And it, and then ended up dying themselves because Mike became, um... I think that's Billy Hope. I think Billy Hope's murdering them right now. That gate... Okay, that gate is open now. Does it mean the doctor's body's there? It is. Yeah, he died when he got trapped, bet but he got trapped between the elevators. So, Mike Upshur was, not he was here not long ago. Oh, I can run again? Oh, he's bright. I guess my foot feels better. Jeez. <coughs> Why is the music kicked up? Oh, is the sun rising? I think the sun's rising. I think I know what this is. This is where Mike Upshaw came through. Yeah. Well, it's one of his... Yeah, this is, there's the room when we first met the variants. Oh, there's a door here. I'm an idiot. There we go. Couldn't... I could not see it. Another document. What we got here now? Blind three... Three blind dreamers. Oh, those are the same patients we saw last time. To Murkoff Ard Zakener, I can't pronounce that right. Caution. Level, level triple black security protocols, including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric, cham hyperbaric chambers are, you, are to be used at all times in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel within, personnel within 500 meters of the patients. Attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost acuity. Shut up, phone! I'm trying to do stuff here! They are, they are physically bind, but blind, but not unseeing. Security clearance... Oh god, I'm just going to turn my phone off. There we go. Security clearances for Project Wall Rider will not be apl ap will not apply to information regarding pa those patients. New security sc security clearances should be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. Ooh, okay, so they're moving three people probably out of this facility. Can this door open? Yes, it can. Checking before I before I move on. Oh, that's where I came from. That's where I came from. Can this door open? Yes, it can. I'm just looking for any more documents.
think this is it. I think this is it. This must be the exit. But before I go... Recreation hall? That leads nowhere. This must be it. This must be the exit. This has to be the exit. Yeah, I can see the exit down there. How do I get down there? Can I open this door? No? No. I mean, I saw the stairway there. Can this door... This door's already open. Does it lead anywhere? This is where we... This is where, um... Oh, it's not. I thought this was the window that Chris Walker threw us threw uh, Mike Upshaw out of. Ah, this way. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Oh, that way's blocked. Mr. Park. Who said that? Are you still alive? Who's, who's saying that? Let's make oh. a deal. You help me. I'll help you. God, I'm stuck with the pig. What the fuck? No, it's Jeremy Blair. Oh, that's the guy who put us in this, this mess. Jeremy Blair. My supervisor's supervisor, a man who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for promotion, and few martinis. Injured. Dying if, if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him, really am, but there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. I'm watching you like a hawk, buddy. Uh, help me up. Please? No, he Jesus! I knew it! Oh! <laughs> Oh, don't tell me this is how I die, just like Mike up sure. No one can know. No one. Oh, hello. Oh. Thanks, Billy. Jesus. So I guess we're not gonna... Are we still gonna die? Come on, man, get up. Get up. Come on, get up. That's it. That's it. That's my man. Jesus, what a way to die. So we're not gonna die like Mike up sure, I hope? We are out. We are out in the daylight. I don't know where I'm going, but it's far away from here. Can I take one of these trucks? No. I... Goodbye, Mount Massive! It was a pleasure <laughs> fucking dying and screaming and being horrified all night. Oh, this car is shiny. Can I get inside this car? Yes, I can. Wait. This is Miles. This is Miles' Jeep. Well, he's dead now, so... Oh... Hi, Billy! Come on, let's just go! Let's go! Hurry before Billy gets us to! Press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Press square to upload footage. 
After all the shit we've been through, fuck yeah! Hey! I got an achievement! Whistleblower! Hey! I did it! I fucking did it! <laughs> alright, alright. Just get, get back to the main menu. Can we go back to the main menu? Okay! Whoo! Well, there you have it! Outlast completed, Outlast Whistleblower completed. I can put another stamp on this game and finally put it to rest, but oh my god. What a rush. What a game. I thoroughly enjoyed playing the first game. I thoroughly enjoyed playing the Whistleblower DLC. I cannot wait to try um, Outlast 2. Outlast 2 has obviously been out for a while now. It's not a new game, but I will get round to it, but I can officially put an official Leo Arthur scat dab of approval on this. This is an awesome game. I honestly can't remember how much I got it for. I think it was, I think it's less than a tenner, including the DLC. So maybe like 11, 12 quid. It is so worth it. If you like horror games, if you like just games that give you mounting dread all the time, no way to fight back, but only run, hide and die, this is the game for you. I'm not sure if I got all the notes or all the other documents, but I did my best and I hope I got um, most of them. So, uh, Oh my god, this has been such a ride. I'm thoroughly happy I've finished it. So, uh, alright. I'm going to end this episode and end this series and get on to something else as soon as I can. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Click the links below to see the beginning of this entire playthrough. And if you want to see the entire playthrough of the first game, thank you all so much for watching this and coming on this journey with me. <laughs> oh my god, my heart. <clears throat> if you like this series, you like this video, you like my videos in general, Give us a like, comment, favorite, subscribe. You know the drill by this point. And I will get on to something else as soon as I can. Remember, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is on the way. It's coming on the end of this month, so look forward to that. I still have blood... Orcs, blood shooters, and teeth. I still need to do that. I know, I know, I know my upload times are completely out the window, but I'm trying my best here. I'm still doing stuff with Diablo 4. I will get to Baldur's Gate 3. Just for shits and giggles, I'm not going to do a play for of, of um, Baldur's Gate 3 because loads of people have done that already. I'm probably just going to do it just for, for shits and giggles with friends. So, look forward to stuff. Look forward to stuff. There is our stuff coming. And I do appreciate, love you to death for, for... Oh my god, this outro is so bad. What I'm trying to say is that I do appreciate all you, all of you. Thank you so much for watching these videos, watching all of my videos. I really do appreciate it. So anyway, thank you so much again. And to the next series, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye!